Have you ever wondered what happens to our waste and rubbish after our bins and bags are collected by the city council? Let's join learners from the Sid G. Rule School in Mitchell's Plain as they find out how waste is managed when it comes through the refuse transfer station in Athlone. In the past I thought, oh, you know, somebody comes and collects my rubbish, I don't know where it goes. It goes away somewhere. But there is no somewhere and there is no away. It has to go to a place. Okay, this is the place that collects rubbish. The City Council operates several waste transfer stations, including this one at Athlone. Waste coming in on trucks that have been collecting from houses in the nearby areas is tipped onto the floor. From here, some is taken and dropped onto a long conveyor belt. As the mixed waste moves along, workers pick out what can be recycled, including plastic, paper, cans and bottles. These materials are then pressed together and baled. They are now ready for collection by the recycling companies who convert them back into new products. But it looks like you can see that the, the, the recyclables are contaminated, which means it's dirty, so it's very low in value. Because when you recycle plastic, it goes through a process and they, they, they will have to wash it first continually. So the more dirty it is, the more water they use. So if you recycle it, you have a, you have a Coke bottle, you rinse it, dry it, and then you put the cap on, you put it in your recycling. The waste left over that is not picked out and sorted by the workers for recycling is put into special containers and loaded onto a train. This train takes it to the big landfill site at Fissershawk, near Durbanville. Here, the unusable waste is buried to prevent harm to people's health or our environment. So we need to be thinking about lots and lots of ideas and ways of reusing our things. Not So the three R's are important, they reuse, they recycle and they reduce. It's important to remember that waste can only be recycled or disposed of safely if you put it into bins or bags in the first place. This makes it easy for the council workers to collect it on their rounds. Waste that doesn't go into bins or bags and so can't be collected easily becomes litter or is dumped. It then becomes a costly problem to clean up. Littering or dumping is ugly and unhealthy. It's also illegal and there's a fine for doing it. So be wise about your waste. Don't litter. Get it into a bin or a bag so that the council can deal with it properly. You'll be joining in to make ours a cleaner, healthier and happier city.